going to be showing you one of the best ways to treat break and retest during London session. There are a lot of break and retest strategies out there on the internet and trust me, most of them don't work. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the trading strategy that I use to trade break and retest accurately during the London session. But before we begin, make sure you click that like button and subscribe to the channel so you can get more of my videos on your homepage. Just a side note, this is not my number one trading strategy. I have an A plus trading strategy. I have different trading strategies that I use depending on which one I want to use at the specific moments. I can decide to trade reversals, I can trade with trends, I can trade with moving averages, I can trade break and retest, I can trade any style I want based off of what I'm looking for and which one I want to stick to at the moment. So just for you to know that if you want to learn my A plus number one trading strategy, click the there's somewhere on the screen here so you can go check that out or you can check the playlist section on my channel. You see my trading strategy playlist there so you can check that out. Close the side though. Let's get started. So to get started, we need to first understand basic market structure. We've all heard of higher highs and higher lows to put on resistance, all that. So I'm going to be breaking down the basic market structure so that you can be able to understand what I'm going to be explaining in the strategy. So first of all, there's something you need to understand when it comes to market structure and trading break and retest when it comes to the strategy that I'm about to show you. So we know that uh, an, an uptrend consists of higher highs and higher lows, higher highs and higher lows, right? And the downtrend consists of lower highs and lower lows like this, All right. And one thing we know for sure is when it comes to trading the trends with um support and resistance and uptrends and downtrends, we know that when price sets a high and it comes down for a pullback to set a lower, a higher low, and then goes up for a higher high. There's something that usually happens here. We know that we're going to expect a pullback and then for the market to reverse from there and continue to form a higher high. So now what we're going to be doing is anticipating the pullback. So we know that by the time price is setting a higher high, it means price has broken this previous high here, which is our breakout. Now we're going to be waiting for a retest. So there are three things that you need to know when it comes to trading break and retest in this sense. So usually what happens is when price breaks, when price forms this high, it comes down and forms this low and it goes and breaks this high, forms a higher high. There are three things that happen. The first thing is sometimes what's going to happen is when price breaks above, it's going to come back down and retest this exact zone here. And then it's going to bounce back. So this is going to be resistance. And we know that when price breaks resistance, resistance becomes supports, right? So this starts to act as supports. So when price comes back down here, it bounces off of this, of this zone, of this support, previously resistance, and then reverses from that area. Now we know that this does not always happen. The market does not always give you something as perfect, as perfect as this. So. This is one play. This is one way that it happens. So you can just say this is type one, type one of um the break and retest type one structure. So the second type that would form is sometimes what's gonna happen is price is gonna from the high, from the low, break the high. So this is our resistance. Price just broke the resistance, and we know that when price breaks the resistance, it does not become support. All right. So what happens here sometimes is here in this example, in this type one, price comes back to this exact zone to, to retest the zone and then reverses from that zone. So that's your break and retest, typical break and retest, picture perfect break and retest. Now, the market is not always as perfect as, that, as perfect as that. So sometimes what happens is price doesn't come to this zone. Price might come close to the zone and then continue like this. So this is going to be your pullback, but price doesn't actually get to this zone. In this example, there's no really, there's really no retest that happened here. Price came, we have the pullback, we were anticipating the pullback, but price doesn't really get to this, to this area, to this zone here. But what happens usually with this is they're going to have a moving average somewhere around here and it's going to bounce off of the moving average. So the moving average pre prevents it from going down here. So you can just say this is type two, although this isn't really a, a retest. We have the break, but we don't have the retest, but this is the structure of an uptrend. This is really what happens on an uptrend. Now, the third type is you're going to have a high and you're going to have the low sets here and they, they're going to break the high. Now, when they break the high in this example, what happens is 
this is the resistance that has now become support. But instead of coming to this zone to bounce off of this zone, what's going to happen is price is going to bounce off of 50% of this. Um, like if you measure from if you measure from here to here, right? So from this from this high to this low, price is gonna bounce from the fifty percent of that. So if you carry your Fibonacci and you draw your Fibonacci from the top to the bottom like this, this is the fifty percent zone here. So let me draw a box right there. So instead of oh, so instead of price coming back to this resistance here. Instead of coming back to this resistance here, price is gonna come back to this zone here, and then price is gonna reverse from this zone. So this is gonna be your break and retest. This is gonna be your break and retest. All right, so this is gonna be type three structure. It's gonna be type three structure. So we have type one, price breaks the resistance, comes back to retest that resistance that has now become support, and then price breaks it, continues to the upside. In type two, we don't really get a retest to the zone, but there might be a moving average somewhere there. And type three, price doesn't retest the resistance. It actually goes below the resistance, goes to the 50% of the zone, and then reverses from that area. So these are the three basic market structure. This is, how, this is usually what happens when price is about to retest and continue in an uptrend. Same thing goes for a downtrend. Just invert this. Same thing goes for a downtrend. Now, what exactly is the strategy that I'm going to be showing you? Now, the strategy deals with with market manipulation. And for those of you that have been following up me on this channel, my videos, and watched some of my videos, you know that I trade BTMM, which is short for Beat the Market Maker. So it's a form of market manipulation. It's not smart money concept. It's not ICT concepts. It's none of that. It's quite different from that. It has some similarities in the concepts, but it's different. The trading style is different. So what the way it works now, the way I trade break and retest, if I'm gonna trade break and retest, is first of all, I need to identify my Asian session. All right. So we have three sessions in the market. We have Asian session, London session, and the New York session. And Asian session is mostly known for its consolidation for about eight to ten hours of consolidation, six to eight to ten hours of consolidation. So what happens is during that period, we're gonna box out the consolidation, all right, during that eight to ten hours of consolidation during the Asian session, I'm gonna box out the consolidation. So this is gonna be the consolidation zone here. Price is gonna be consolidating in here. So now when we know when we draw out this box, we know one thing is for certain is that this top this top um area here is resistance. All right. So I'm just gonna label it as R. And then this bottom of the consolidation is support. So I'm gonna label that as S. So we basically have Price bouncing off of support and resistance, bouncing off of support and resistance. You know that this creates liquidity above and creates liquidity liquidity below. So if you've studied liquidity before or you've or you've been in smart money concepts, you should know this. So what happens is when London session comes in, there's gonna be a breakout. So let's say this is an uptrend, right? So let's say the market is in an uptrend because when trading break and retest, you need to know your trend, you need to know. The direction of the overall direction of the markets you can't be trading break and retest going against the trend you have to go in line with the trend right so let's say this example the uh, the market is in an uptrend right what we're going to be expecting is for the market to break to the upside All right so after this consolidation what happens is price is gonna break to the upside right and it's gonna this breakout is gonna get people to buy this breakout so people are going to be buying these breakouts anticipating it to continue up because of you know there's a strategy called london breakouts after the consolidation price breaks above then people are going to be buying in here so what happens is this is actually an induction inducing people to take buys after taking buys people take buys where their stop loss is going to be most of them their stop loss is going to be below the zone here or maybe at the middle of the zone also right so one thing you have to know is if this is if this is our resistance and this is our support, we know that inside at the middle of this area is also going to be a zone where price is going to be reacting off of. So the middle of the of the the middle of the box is going to be is support and resistance zone also. So price is going to also react at this zone. So let me just change the color of the zone to gold.
right? So what happens is when price breaks above, it's going to induce people to take buys. So people are going to be taking buys here. What's going to happen is price is going to come back. Now, remember I showed you guys two plays, three plays that happens. Is that price goes and we test this zone and then continues back up or price is going to come and we test this middle of the zone, the 50% of the zone of the consolidation and then reverse up of there or price is going to or price is now going to come to this zone so it's just going to continue up from there. Alright, so those are the three things that can happen. So in this example, what we're going to be looking for is type 1 and type 3. We're going to be looking for the one that we test off of the resistance or the 50% of the range. So basically, when price breaks to the upside, price is going to come back and retest this. Sometimes you might get a W formation. You will hardly get a W formation, but sometimes you get a W formation. Most of the time you get a V pattern. So you're just going to get something like this and then it's going to continue up. So either they test, they retest this zone or they retest this zone. And as added confluence, what happens is you're going to get a 50 moving average around this area. So you're going to get a 50 moving average here like this. So this is going to be bouncing off of this resistance and also bouncing off of the 50 EME, right? So the 50 EME is basically acting as dynamic supports. All right, so this is going to be dynamic support. The 50 EM is dynamic support, supporting price from going lower. Price is going to bounce off of that and then continue up. If it goes to the 50% zone, then price is going to bounce off of the 50 EM there also and then continue back up. So this is the play that you're going to be looking for if it's an uptrend. If it's a downtrend, it's basically the same thing but, but opposites. All right, so price breaks above, comes back down to the to the resistance and bounces off of the resistance or it breaks above and comes back down to the 50 EMA to the 50 percent and bounces off of the 50 EMA all right so let me just show you guys a couple of examples here on the charts <clears throat> so we have uh this example here let me grab my pen yeah so we have this asian session consolidation here this black line this black moving average is the 200 EMA and this blue line is the 50 EMA. And you know, if the 50 EMA is above the 200 EMA and price is above the EMA, the 200 EMA, that means we are in an uptrend. So basically, if this is above this, you are in an uptrend. If it's below, if this is below this, that means we are in a downtrend. That's just a basic way, very over, overly simplified way of identifying the trend. So we have... Our Asian session, which is this gray box here. Our London session is this green box here. And then New York session is this red box here. All right, so this is our Asian session consolidation. You box out the consolidation like this. You box it out. And then we have, this is the top of the zone. This is the bottom down here. And then this is the middle of the zone down here. So you can see that price breaks above and then comes back down to retest the zone, to retest this zone, the upper level of the range. And then you can see price forms a W formation there and then reverses from that area. Also bouncing off of the 50 EMA. So this blue line, this blue moving average is the 50 EMA. So we can see price bounces off of the 50 EMA. It gives you an engulfing candle here, gives you a W formation here. You can enter anywhere inside here as it bounces off of this with your candlestick with your candlestick confirmation, and you can see price continues to the upside. Let me show you another example of this. We have another example here. We have our Asian session consolidation here, All right? We have the fifty percent of the range here, and we also have the the top of the range here. So in this example, you can see price breaks above here and then comes back down to retest the 50, the 50 EMA, breaks below, enters back into the 50 EMA. This is your entry here. You can put your stop loss here or here, and you can see that this went all the way up. You can even see it went and broke this high, came back down to retest it one more time, and then made its move to the upside. So you basically have this like this. All right, bouncing off of the 50 EMA. We have another example here. 
we have the Asian session consolidation, right? We have the middle of the range, which is here. You can see price breaks above, comes back down to retest the 50% of the range, bounces off of it, and then goes back up. In this example, they give us a W formation, and they can see this continued back up. We have another example here. This one happened with news. We have Asian range. We have the top of the Asian range here. Price breaks above, comes back down, and then bounces off of this. You can see this is a W formation here. Price bounces off of it and then reverses to the upside. They use news to complete the pattern to make the move basically. All right, so we have this, this, and this. So that's your break and retest. Right there, we have a downtrend here. How do we know it's a downtrend? We have the 200 EMA above the 50 EMA. So it's a downtrend, right? And price is also below below the 50 and the 200 EMA. So here we have Asian range. We have the 50% of the Asian range. You can see price breaks to the downside and then goes back up to retest the zone. We test the 50%, gives you an M formation or a triple top at this high here. Bouncing off of the 50 EMA and also bouncing off of the 200 EMA as added confluence. And this acts as resistance. So these EMAs are acting as resistance, dynamic resistance to prevent price from going higher because it's a downtrend. So you can see price reverse from there. If you entered anywhere in there, you would have caught this move here. So we have one more example here. This is the last example. We have the Asian range. In this example, they decided to take a liquidity at these lows. Then they went back up, broke above, broke above the zone, broke above the highs, came back to retest the highs. But here they didn't touch the 50, the 50 MA. Where they touched the 50 MA was here. So this is the setup right here. They have to touch the 50 MA. So they touch the 50 EMA here, bouncing off of it, acting as resistance, as support. You can see it's an uptrend because we have the 200 EMA below the 50 EMA. So it's an uptrend. So we're looking for buys. Price bounces off of this zone here, gives you a double for W formation, and then reverses back up. And you can see price went all the way up. If we held it to the next day, price continued up. So this is how I trade break and retest if I want to trade break and retest. If you want to learn more of my trading strategy and how I personally trade on a day-to-day -day basis, you can go to my channel, go to the playlist section and watch the playlist on my trading strategy. And also, if you want to, if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments, like and subscribe. Also, feel free to join my free Telegram. The link will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Peace.